Hello everybody! In this video, I'll be talking about the two most commonly used measure of inequality, the Lorentz curve and the Gini coefficient. But before that, please take a look at this picture. There are two situations illustrated in this photo and they are equality and equity. Which one do you think, guys, portrays equality or equity? A picture on the left side portrays equality while on the right side portrays equity. On the left photo, each individual is given equal size and number of chair, but not everyone is enjoying or seeing the games. Inequality in terms of height is addressed by providing everyone equal number and the size of chair, but it turns out to be useless because someone else remains worse off. Giving chair to those who are already tall makes him even taller. In the same manner, giving incentives in the form of cash transfer, even those who are above the, above the poverty line, does not solve the problem of inequality. In fact, it creates more inequality. What we need is to make everyone, especially those who are on or below the line of poverty, to catch up with those who are already above that line. And that is what we call equity. The other side of the picture shows that everyone is better off because each of them can watch the games, including those who are disadvantaged in terms of height, because more incentives or more chairs are given to him to catch up or enjoy the same show that the taller ones have. So equity is achieved if no one is left behind or deprived of something. But in reality, sometimes inequality is difficult to achieve. Even the richest country have experienced inequality. There is evidence that the more developed a country is, the more unequal is its income distribution. Among regions in the Philippines, the income inequality is seen higher in some regions, while low in the other regions. In Mindanao, for example, Northern Mindanao has more income inequality relative to the other regions, while the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao, or BARM, has the lowest income inequality in 2015, as shown in the table. The data show that income distribution in BARM is relatively more equal than the rest of the regions in Mindanao. One way to measure inequality is using the Lorentz curve. The Lorentz curve visualizes the extent of inequality a country has. It is a graph depicting the variance of the size distribution of income from perfect equality. No country has a perfect income equality, but some countries are more equal than the other. The line that divides the whole area of a square is called the line of equality. And the curve beneath it is the so-called Lorentz curve. The farther the distance from the line of equality to the Lorentz curve, the greater the inequality there is. On the x-axis is the cumulative percent of population, while on the y-axis plots the cumulative percent of income. The figures presented on the diagram are cumulative, and it sums up to 100%. For example, at point A, the poorest 10% of the population receives less than 5% of the national income. The next 10% or poorest 20% of the population receives less than 10% of the total national income, which is at point B, and so on until the whole population are accounted for. Note that at the halfway point, 50% of the population is in fact receiving only around 19% of the total income. Another way to measure inequality is using the Gini coefficient. 
It is an aggregate measure of income inequality ranging from zero, which means there is perfect equality, to one, or there is perfect inequality. The Gini coefficient presents the mathematical background of the income inequality story presented in the Lorentz curve. It is measured by dividing the area between the diagonal and the Lorentz curve, or area A, by the total area of the whole triangle, or area A plus B. Or in formula, Gini coefficient is equal to area A over the sum of area A and B. The higher the value of the coefficient, the higher the inequality of income distribution. And the lower it is, the more equal the distribution of income. Note that the greater the curvature of the Lorentz line, the greater also is the value of area A, which translate to greater degree of inequality represented. Because no country exhibits either perfect equality or perfect inequality in its distribution of income, the Lorentz curve for different countries will lie somewhat to the right of the line of equality. That's all for today.